Anna coming to you from the Beehive. Today I'm going to show you how to make this super cute note card using the watercoloring with glycerin technique I developed a few weeks ago. I'm also going to show you how to shade this time. This card uses the You've Got This stamp set that will be available starting June 2nd, 2015. This stamp set comes with this beautiful flower and three great greetings and it comes with this background stamp which we won't be using today but I will be using in the future. So let me show you how to make this card. You're going to start off with um, a Whisper White note card and envelope. Um, this just makes it really easy for me. It's a great base to start off with. If you don't have a note card, you can make yourself one. Um, cut a piece of cardstock to seven inches by five inches and score in half at the three and a half inch mark. So we're going to need um, we're going to need your memento ink. And since I've been experimenting with this, originally I said that you could use stays on or memento. That is still true. Um, I was worried that maybe we'd have some bleeding problems with the memento ink, but so far I haven't had any problems using glycerin and watercoloring it with with it. So um, I feel more confident now just using um, memento instead of stays on. So I'm just going to go ahead and ink up this beautiful flower from the You've Got the Stamp set. And um, since I, I haven't folded this uh, card already, I'm going to stamp this. This will be the card front right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and stamp this on the right side of the card right here. That will become the front. Okay, that looks good. And I've got, let me just put my ink pad away so I don't stick anything in it. So um, I've got right here, I've got like a plastic lid. Um, and this, uh, just um, a plastic lid off of a margarine container or um, off of a yogurt. This one I think is off of a yogurt container. Just something so that you can um, dip your aqua painter and mix the glycerin in. So to start off with, this is glycerin. I got it at uh, the pharmacy for around $7. Um, and we use hardly any of it. So you can definitely, if you can find a smaller bottle of this, um, you can uh, definitely go smaller. And I like to put like a drop of that glycerin right in the center there and then I'm going to take this is um, a new in color called watermelon wonder and I just you know put a little drop of watermelon wonder on there and I've got my aqua painter filled with distilled water um, I decided to use distilled water because distilled water is something that I think everyone can get and if your water is hard or soft or if you have problems with this technique I want I want us all to be working from the same base so I think if we use distilled water that that kind of neutralizes that factor if you have any problems with it and then we just know that maybe it's something else going on so and I always uh, have a tissue or a paper towel near by and um, you want to get get your aqua painter going um, so that your your brush is wet with the distilled water and then I just like to dry it off like it's still wet but I just don't want it I don't want a lot of water coming out with this technique but I want it somewhat wet okay then I dip my um, here's my lid I'm going to just go ahead and dip my aqua painter right in the glycerin and then bring it over to my watermelon wonder. I'm just going to mix some of that in. Okay, and I haven't mixed it all in, but I've got like a little pool over here on the side that I can work with. And then I like to test out my color, see how dark it is. That is quite dark. I'm going to pull over a little bit more. I want it kind of medium. Okay, let's just go ahead and start. And I like to start on one side and work my way over. I don't <clears throat> like to start in the middle. So let me just go ahead and start um, brushing this glycerin ink on. And you'll find like you don't have to pick up quite as much um, uh, 
ink as you would if you were watercoloring. You're kind of spreading um, that ink, uh, that glycerin ink around. And um, you will notice a few brush strokes in here. So that is one thing you can't completely blend out your brush strokes. But um, I, I don't think you can do that either with uh, watercolor. You can, you know, you, you do have a little bit of those lighter and darker areas. So that's kind of typical of watercoloring. But what is better with this technique uh, with water than with watercoloring, at least I find, um, is that you can spread your color um, really nicely. Um, it's just very smooth and you can use Whisper White cardstock which to put this much um, on uh, like this much water on Whisper White would be like a real no-no like that it just would not um, be as smooth and as nice and we can use Memento ink and anyone that has used Memento ink will probably tell you it's one of their favorite black inks so um, that's another nice thing about this um, method is that you can use your favorite cardstock and you can use your your favorite ink. You don't have to use uh, watercolor paper with this. In fact, um, I would not recommend watercolor paper with this because uh, Memento does not um, set up really nicely and it would probably bleed. Um, I did, I did do a lot of experimenting when I first developed this technique. Um, oh, you, I, you can go back and watch the video, it's the one with the little fox on it and it, it just, um, I had all the little foxes that I had um, colored with glycerin. Well, actually I was trying to develop a combination and um, I, I was actually trying to develop it so that it would go right in the barrel of the aqua painter. but. In the end, I just decided, or it just didn't work out the, w the way I had planned. And then I was like, why don't I just try glycerin right on a lid? And guess what? That worked after all the complicated stuff I had planned. And, you know, sometimes the simplest things end up being um, the best. So I've almost got this worked all the way around. Bear with me. I, I think it's important that you see how I um, come through and, and watercolor it. So if you want to do it. Now I'm going to get a little bit darker. I'm going to dip back into my reinker and kind of bring it back in the glycerin. And I want to get just a little darker. And now I'm going to go down on the bottom of some of these petals and do a little shading right near the bottom. And, um, you know, the stamped image always kind of gives you a clue as to where you should put your shadows. Like, really, it's along along the, the lines, which are kind of like where uh, in nature that would be, that would be uh, shadows right there where the black lines are. So you can just go along and just kind of follow those little lines and play with it. You know, every new coloring technique has, you know, has its uh, good and bad points. I actually really like coloring this way, um, and that's um, and that's usually my um, barometer for whether or not it's good. Is if I actually enjoy doing it, and and I sat down and I colored a bunch of these already. So it's just I I think it's really um, neat to have that glycerin in there. I think on my Fox video I said it was like uh, like finger painting in a sense. So um, let, me, let me just add like a little bit right along the edge here. Um, and then I'll, I'll hold it up to the camera just a little bit. Let's see. Can you see that? Um, I just kind of deepened the edges there. And uh, it's so I can come back in and and deepen them and it's just I don't know I'm enjoying it so that's a good thing so now I'm just gonna go ahead and squeeze some distilled water um, out through my barrel and that will help me clean off that 
that watermelon wonder off my barrel and then I'm going to dry it again and now I'm going to come in this is a new color too this is our cucumber crush and let me rotate this bit and put down a drop of that cucumber crush this is such a bright beautiful new color and I'm, I'm dipping my uh, aqua painter into the glycerin and now I'm going to make myself a, a pool of glycerin cucumber crush okay and let's see how dark that is okay that's good all right so let's start with this leaf here and I'm just gonna bring the cucumber crush goes on so nicely you're gonna love this and I'm gonna come down I like to always start at one end try not to start in the middle and just kind of bring it down and I'm just doing both of the leaves first and then I'm gonna go back and do this little stem here Okay, and then just like I did with the um, the top here with the watermelon wonder, I'm going to grab a little bit of the darker reinker, test it out. That's a little darker. I'm going to come down and do the bottom of my leaves. So I'm just going to darken them, and that way we'll have a little bit of contrast and shading. Ah, that looks. It looks so pretty, I wish you could see it in person. Okay, sorry, I'm, I'm doing bad things. I'm taking my um, aqua painter off of the camera so that you can't see what I'm doing. But basically, I am just cleaning off my aqua painter again. And this time we've got, um, this is, I'm using all in colors today. This is a new in color called Delightful Dijon. Got a little bit of reinker. Just tiny dot, because we only need it for a small, small portion. And again, I'm going to grab some uh, glycerin. I'm going to muck about in my reinker. Okay, and then let's just test that out. That is, I want this quite deep. So I'm just going to go in and just hit the inside of this flower like that. Oh, that's beautiful oh no oh I thought I got something down on the bottom of my card that would be so disappointing <laughs> known to happen sometimes but um, uh, we're gonna cover that bottom part up in a second so clean off your aqua painter and I can set this aside set my lid aside so I don't um, get ink everywhere and now what we're going to do is just I've got a piece of cardstock that is three and a half inches by an inch. And I am going to grab my Watermelon Wonder ink pad. This is, of course, the new ink pad. And I've got um, my ink and, um, sorry, my stamp. And this one is says, I'm here for you. So I'm just gonna ink that up in Watermelon Wonder. And I'm going to stamp it in the center of my card stock like that. Just a little bit of contrast. It looks so good. Okay, and then all we need is a little bit of adhesive. And I'm going to put this on the back. This is Tombow Multipurpose Glue. It is good stuff. It sticks. It sticks very, very well. Okay. And then I just gonna scoop my card up here and we're gonna put this maybe three eighths of an inch from the bottom. It will depend on where your um, how far up or down you've stamped your rows, but um, or is it a peony? I don't know. It's it's really beautiful. It's a really nice size flower. I think I've got that lined up okay and then I'm just gonna fold my card base and probably better to use my bone folder on this side so I'm just using my bone folder to smooth the crease like that and there you go and here's the card my sample card originally um, 
there you go. It's a very cute uh, little note card that I had a lot of fun watercoloring with glycerin. All the supplies you'll need to make these cards will be available for purchase on my blog. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Bye for now.